family and friends, I'm Susan, and welcome to my home. Hey everybody, it's Susan again, and today we're going to be making one of my more requested items, chicken and dumplings. If you love chicken, you love biscuits, you combine them together, and you've got a great meal. So, ponytail up, let's get to cooking. Hey everybody, it's Susan, and before we start the chicken and dumplings tonight, we need to go ahead and make some of my fried chicken seasoning. One teaspoon of Molly McButter or Butter Buds, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of Lowry seasoning, one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning, and one tablespoon of the chicken bouillon, the loose chicken bouillon. Get that into a shaker, and then we'll be ready to go with the chicken and dumplings. Okay, one teaspoon of Molly McButter or Butter Buds, one teaspoon of garlic salt, One teaspoon of Lowry's. One tablespoon of lemon pepper. And one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Okay, we're gonna start off with four cups of water. We will probably need more, but I'm just starting off with it. We will also need to put in two chicken bouillon cubes, and I'm going to put in some cut up chicken. I have a small rotisserie chicken that I've just pulled the meat off of, and I'm going to cut it up into smaller bites and then put it in here to simmer for a little bit. And I've got about three cups of chicken that I have cut up into. Uh, well diced up into pieces and I'm just going to pull apart the pieces a little bit so we don't have as big a chunks my husband doesn't like the big stringy pieces so I do try to cut them a little smaller than just pulling them off the bone okay and I've got mine over medium high heat and I am just going to stir the chicken with the seasoning, and I'm gonna add a sprinkle of the chicken spice we just made in here. And I'll add it again a few other times probably before I get done. But that chicken spice is what makes it taste so good. Okay, let's let this simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes and see where we are. Okay, the water's boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and Make the chicken dough and then see where we're at. We may need to add a little bit more water. Okay, let's get the biscuits going. I need two cups, two cups of self rising flour, I need one stick of butter cut in to the biscuits. tablespoon of Crisco shortening. Now that's probably a little over a tablespoon, but you know, it's all right. It makes it good. Get it good and mixed up real quick. And there are my pea-sized little pebbles in there that we talked about on my, on the video for making biscuits. Okay, let's clean this off. And add 3 4 cup milk. And now we're gonna stir until it comes together. I always stir from the outside to the inside. And it's getting there. Okay, let's get this put together. 
Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on my uh, chopping board. And put the bread together. Now, for the dumplings, we don't need to layer it like we did the biscuits. So all we're gonna do is make sure that all of it's together good and push it out or level it out because we are gonna be making balls. These are fluffy dumplings, not the kind that you roll out and they're thin. These are the fluffier ones. All right, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and get it into a ball real quick. Now, I'm going to start making the balls. You don't need to make big balls, just small ones, because whenever they puff up in the dish, they're going to puff up about twice their size. So I just do a pinch and a roll and a dumpling. And you can see the butter all through these things. But I do this. There you go. Now you can see them better. I do this until I get all of the dough into little bitty balls, which won't take long. See you back in a minute. Okay, here are all the dumplings made. Now I have checked out the chicken and the water mixture and added four more cups of water. I always think I'm gonna make a small batch and I never do. So, there's eight cups of water in with this now, and we'll go as we go and see how it turns out. Okay, I brought the broth back up to a bowl after I added the extra water, and now we're going to put in about half of the dumplings. And I usually use my bigger ones on this dump because I do the other half in just a little bit, but I like to do the bigger ones on the first round. And I've got it basically on a medium high so it can get these bad boys taken care of. Okay. So I now have half of them in. What we'll do is let this cook for about five minutes. And you'll see they're already starting to puff up really big. We'll add the cream of chicken soup right here. And some more of the chicken spice. And the second set of dumplings. And then we'll assess where we're at. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so let's add in the cream of chicken soup. And I'm turning it down to low now. If you see, the dumplings are just about to fall apart. And they may whenever I stir this in, but that's fine. That's what they're going to do. And I just basically put the cream of chicken soup down through the, the dumplings. the dumplings and stir it all around. I don't, I don't have, know how good you can see that, but I'm stirring it all around underneath the dumplings. And see, like I said, they're falling apart, but that's okay because they are going to make the dumplings thick. And I've got me another can of chicken and dumplings in case I need it. We'll just have to see where this one winds up. Okay. I'm turning it back up so it'll boil a little bit. Letting that cook for a minute. Add another sprinkling of my chicken spice. And I've got it back up to about a medium, a little less than medium. And all I'm doing now is pushing the dumplings down into the juice. So they can get all good and coated and cooked all the way through. I am going to be covering this once I add the final dumplings so they'll get good and cooked all the way through. Okay, now they're boiling. Look how thick 
the first bunch of dumplings has gotten this. Now what I'm going to do is put the second bunch in, which are the other half, which are the smaller ones. So they shouldn't puff up quite as big. I'm just going to try to put them in any hole I can find in the dumpling broth here. What's going to happen is these are going to puff up, but they're not going to break apart like the first ones are. Because the first ones are going to make your broth thick. These are the ones that you're actually going to be eating on when the time comes. And I go ahead and put those down into the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is turn it on low and let it simmer for about 15 minutes and we'll see where we're at. Okay, I've had it covered for 30 minutes, letting all of the dumplings get nice and done. And right here's what we have. Some of them did disintegrate totally and just made the broth nice and thick. But this is whenever you want to dip deep to get the chicken and the dumplings. Look at that. Chicken. Mmm. That looks good. All right. We've got everything made. Please try chicken and dumplings. They're not as hard as people make them out to be. And once you get them in the pot, all you got to do is let them cook a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and try the chicken and dumplings recipe. It's not as hard as everybody says it is. Please like and subscribe and share with all your friends. That way we can make sure that everybody can get this great recipe. Until next time, see you next week. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.